What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, stronger, right? So I wanted to do an update on day seven of the new fitness program I'm doing. Um, so the workouts were six days a week. Today is a rest day and I have completed every single one of the workouts. I am feeling stronger. I have more endurance. Excuse me. So sorry. Um, and it's been amazing because it's hard, but you know what I love when we do hard things, it's like our brain says, oh wow, you accomplished that. You're amazing. And it really is like this like adrenaline boost to know, oh my goodness, I did something hard. Um, so what doesn't kill you makes you stronger guys. My workouts could have killed me this week, but I totally um, survived it. Uh, here's the thing that has been the hardest. And actually, I've been quite impressed mis with myself. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Look at all those hearts and likes. <laughs> um, the meal plan. I don't know about you, but when I hear the word meal plan, I get sweaty palms and I start to go <laughs> and freak out a little. Uh, the 21 day fix plan has always been like pretty easy for me for the most part, but I, I'll confess to you, I've never followed it perfectly. I've only followed it perfectly for maybe four days at a time. <laughs> and that's just how I roll. And I've been okay with that. It's been sustainable for me. But I said when I started this current fitness program and I saw the meal plan that I was going all in and I was going to do this because I... I just needed that for my brain. Um, and I knew it was going to be hard because sometimes the mental hang-up is harder than anything else. Oh, I love you too. Um, the mental hang-up is harder than anything else. But you know what? It hasn't killed me. And actually, I feel amazing. And I am learning to eat new foods. What? Um, so yeah. So the meal plan is pretty simple, actually. It's pretty straightforward. Um, no sugar, no grains. Uh, you're doing a lot of proteins and things like sweet potatoes, root vegetables for your carbs. So, you know, regular potatoes, beans, like those are your carbs. They're great carbs. Um, lots of nuts and healthy fats. And honestly, I've been trying new recipes. I've been doing the mason jar meals. I've been, okay, so we're having pizza at my sister's house. And I was like having this mental hang up, like I really want to have pizza and so I threw out there on Facebook okay what's your best favorite cauliflower pizza crust and I was totally gonna make cauliflower pizza crust and then people were like oh cauliflower pizza crust is gross <laughs> I thought I don't want to eat something gross and some people said they like it but even the people that said oh look at that curl Ooh, squirrel um even people that said they liked cauliflower crust were like oh it's so much work and so I was gonna buy some one at Trader Joe's and then people were saying oh do shredded chicken for your pizza crust and I thought well why don't I just slice up some chicken that's already cooked and then I'll put some sauce and cheese on top of it. So I did that and everybody was eating pizza. I'm sitting on a laundry basket. Oh my goodness, my brother's gonna freak. I'm in my brother's room and I think I just broke his laundry basket. I'm just gonna there, move over. Eric, I'll buy you a new laundry basket, okay? Um, <laughs> so I made these pizza, um, these little chicken pizzas and they were totally on plan and I felt so satisfied. Like they were delicious, first of all. Second of all, I felt amazing because I was like, yeah, I conquered this. And everyone was eating pizza and I was like totally okay with it because it tasted amazing what I was eating. And you know, those mental victories are the biggest part of anything, okay? And I'm not gonna tell you, I don't think people should go on crazy diets and I don't think people should, but you know, sometimes we just need something to challenge us and to like get over our mental hangups, try something new and commit to something. Okay. Um, so like I've been doing no sugar and usually that's like a big deal for me because I love sugar <laughs> and I don't think you should completely cut it out forever. That's just, I mean, birthdays, you should be having cake. That's just how I roll. I mean, but I'm going to try some new recipes and I'm going to try things without sugar. And I, I've been going with no sugar for a full week and I feel great and I don't feel deprived. And you know, I've done like some more extreme diets, but that was, I was trying to figure out some neurological things I had going on and I had to do an elimination diet. That was wicked hard for me, but I felt deprived the whole time. This time I don't. And I think the key, here's the key, the secret, secret sauce, is the healthy fats. Healthy fats make you feel full, they make you feel happy, and they make you feel satisfied. And I have been craving less. 
I've had more energy when I upped my fats a little bit. Cause at first I was kind of like, Ooh, this is weird. I feel kind of funny. Um, Oh, this curl is just crazy today. Look at that. Sorry. I, I get really excited when I have one of those really perfect curly, coily, coily curls. So you know what? Even following this meal plan, I've had to tweak it a little because I'm listening to my body and that's just what you need to do. Um, no matter what you're doing and what meal plan you're following and what you're trying to accomplish and your goals, you've got to listen to your body, okay, and figure out how you can feel the best you possibly can. And that has been the biggest mental shift for me is, oh my goodness, well, this is not exactly on plan if I have some extra fats, but you know what? I feel better. And not that I, you know, this doesn't matter too much to me because I'm kind of at the point where I don't even worry about the scale, but this has been like this great science experiment. Like, oh, what's going to happen to my body on this plan? Um, and I've lost five pounds already, which is crazy. I don't know where that went, where that came from. I think my body is just more efficiently burning fat um, with this program. And I just feel good, like energized, great. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. And I get to have chocolate every day because I drink my superfoods shake. So hello, <laughs> which is totally on plan, man. Um, and I love that. I love that I can have chocolate every single day. Like that's another thing that makes me happy. I don't feel deprived. I know tomorrow I have more chocolate. Yay. Uh, so anyway, I just want to encourage you and give you like a little update on how my week one went. I am so proud of myself for sticking with this for a week. Like, that's huge. And you know, it hasn't been like perfect, perfect. Like Sunday's been like, oh goodness, you know. But for me, it's perfect. Like, it's really good. And I think the thing is, sometimes we tell ourselves we can't do something. And you know what? You can't. If you tell yourself you can't, you can't. Like, that's just the way it's going to be. But if you tell yourself, you know what? I can do this with God's help. I'm going to conquer this and I can do hard things and I can do this for a specific amount of time for a purpose, for a specific reason with a specific goal in mind. And my goal with this program literally was just to stick to the program and kind of figure out my body a little bit better. And so far I've accomplished that. So two more weeks of the program and you know, when I, when I get off the plan and you know, we go on vacation, I don't think I'm going to go all crazy. I don't feel this like desire to eat all the cup cupcakes and chocolate. Like I'm getting really yummy food every single day and it's fueling my body and I just feel good. So there you go. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, and you know what? I don't feel like something's killing me. Like I just feel good. So there you go. Learning more about my body, which is what you need to do. You have to be a student of your body. Um, you can't just look at a meal plan and say, well, this person lost a hundred pounds doing this. So that's what I'm going to do. You need to constantly be tweaking and adjusting and figuring out what works for your body. Um, those of the, even my people who I have doing the 21 day fix, who I have doing the shift shop meal plan. Um, and these are like, you know, if you want to know what these are, just message me and let me know. Um, we, you know, talk about this in my group. You've got to figure out your body. You've got to learn your body to see how foods affect you. My mom can't do a lot of, you know, red meats and things. So I hope that this is encouraging to you that you can do hard things. If you need help, if you need someone to cheer you on, if you need someone who will just go, you've got this, let me know. I'd love to help you. So week one down, two more to go. Yeah. Catch you guys later.